Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I have a 35 pound box of candles from none other than Kringle Candle to unbox and share with you guys. Ready? But before we do, I have five from before that I did not film because it was only two fragrances and I didn't really want to haul just two. They're both sold out, so let's get this out of the way now. Let me grab my set notes. I have nobody to blame but Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, for this purchase right here. Three, count them, three sweet creams and two sprinkled macarons, macaroons. I can't believe we have to have this debate again, but we will. Okay, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Drew. I love all things candles, beauty, skincare, all sorts of stuff on my channel, but I love candles and I love Kringle Candle. I am a Kringle Candle ambassador, disclaimer. I do earn commission when you use my link uh, or my code DrewYonk15 to save yourself 15%. That does not influence my purchasing. That does not influence my reviewing. As you saw from my last empties video, I'm still honest when it comes to the reviews. But anyway, I have been wanting in the Kringle Reserve line, which are a little bit more higher end. They have black jars. They have really awesome labels, as you can see with the sweet cream, but they're also in limited batches. I did not order these when they initially came out. It was like sprinkled macarons, sweet cream, California cab, silk sheets, and midnight rose. Well, let me tell you, these two were the highlight of everybody's order. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for Kringle to restock them. And then one day, boom, they popped right up on the website and I ran and I never ordered something so fast in my life. So, Melanie over at Mr. Kong's mom, Katie over at Katie's Joyful Life, she's on vacation now, so by the time she sees this video, hopefully she will see it. But <clears throat> these are out of stock and they have raved about this. I am so excited to get my sniffer in these. I have not sniffed them yet. They've just been sitting here until my other box came. And the notes read, Experience the delectable decadence of sweet cream, where ripe strawberry sugar and cloudberry jam dance with cotton candy swirls and crystallized petals before settling in in a sumptuous embrace of whipped vanilla cream and sweet musk that will captivate your senses. Sign me up, right? Sign me up. So the label, we have a black background with a whisk that has the most beautiful, sweet, luscious whipped cream on there. Let's get my sniffer in this. Oh my gosh, okay. This smells like true whipped cream at a dessert. Oh my gosh, okay. You know I love to paint a picture. When you're at like a high-end restaurant, not a diner or you know, like a chain, a very high-end restaurant, and they have a strawberry shortcake on the menu that has homemade whipped cream. And you know there's a difference between homemade whipped cream and regular whipped cream. This is homemade whipped cream. There is strawberry in here, but it is so far removed from the whipped cream note that it's in the background. But it adds that fruitiness. It adds that sweetness. Oh, this is beautiful. <gasps> I cannot wait to light this. Now, what I will do is I will let these sit for a while. I have some other candles that I'm trying to burn through. And I will light this in my bedroom to see how the strength and throw is. I know everybody says this is a great candle. It does smell light. It is a whipped cream fragrance. So I'm not expecting it to blow me out of the house like Jelly Donut. We'll talk about Jelly Donut. But this fragrance is so pretty. I could see this blending with so many things but also just enjoying it on its own. Oh, this is good. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm so happy I got three of them. Like, I knew I would like it anyway, just based on my scent prefer preferences. And typically, 
what Melanie and Katie like, I do really enjoy. So yeah, there's the sweet cream. And now let's move on to sprinkled macaroons or macarons. The name states it's a macaroon, but the picture clearly shows that it is a macaron. A macaron is a French cookie like this. A macaroon is a coconut haystack cookie. All right, so sprinkled macarons. A sweet blend of vanilla and nut meets heartwarming brown sugar and butter, culminating in a comforting base of toasted vanilla bean, crafting an olfactory masterpiece that evokes the joy of freshly baked treats. Oh my gosh. Okay, immediately this is stronger than the sweet cream, which I expected. This is, oh my God, this is delectable. This is one where I could see you burning this when company comes over and every single person who walks into your house is like, what is burning? I need whatever you have lit. And you're like, it's sprinkled macarons from Kringle Candle, part of the reserve collection. You can't have it because it's sold out. And then they just want to keep coming over and smelling this beautiful fragrance. It is toasty. It is warm. It truly smells like a macaron. Like, if you've eaten these cookies right here on the label, they have this crunchiness whenever you bite into them. And then that really light airiness inside with that sweet jam-like filling of all sorts of things. They have peanut butter and jelly macarons. They have almond, strawberry, raspberry, rose, lavender, mint, pistachio. The list goes on and on. This just smells like a vanilla macaron. Nothing crazy, like no exotic flavor, but I'm really getting that like rich toasted nut and like a toasted brown sugar. This is so yummy. Oh, I am so happy with these. And again, it's not because I make commission on these. It's not because I'm a Kringle Candle Ambassador. If I got one and I didn't like it, I would let you know. I have a box full of fragrances I haven't tried yet and some staples that I stocked up on. I will let you know if I don't like them. This is beautiful. This is heavenly. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, I love, yeah, okay. Definitely a winner. And I can imagine if it's as strong as the sweet cream is, or as strong, as great as the sweet cream is, they will be in my regular rotation. All right, and I have five candles on this table and this box is super heavy. I'm gonna go put these guys away, bring this box up. I got my handy dandy little craft scissors. Listen, these are EK success scissors. I've literally had these for years and years and years. They're crafting scissors, they're so sharp but they open boxes and just do the easiest little cutting that I need for everything. Hands down the best scissors. All right, let me clear the space and we'll be right back. All right, let's dive in. Cutting open the box. <gasps> oh, super strong tape here. All right. Oh, I have a note from Jamie. I'm gonna fold so my address doesn't doesn't show. All right, so here's my candles. And um, Jamie, who packs a lot of the orders, writes little handwritten notes in your box. And this is Drew, welcome back, thank you so much. Why do cows have hooves and not feet? They lack toes, LOL. How funny is that? Jamie puts these little notes in the boxes and it is just so adorable, right? If you've ever ordered from Kringle, let me try to show you. It's very similar to the Bath & Body Works crates like that. And these work great for storing your candles. It is amazing how without any bubble wrap and just crates, they literally come so perfect. All right, let's dive into the ones that I've already had and talk about those. All right, let's just get these guys out of the way. My beloved Jelly Donut got restocked. My beloved, Melanie's beloved, Katie's beloved, so many of the other fellow ambassadors, beloved Jelly Donut candles. Now, I can't remember, I don't have one sitting right here, but there are notes on the bottom of these candles now. I don't remember the jars having this before. So, all right, 
It just says raspberry, blackberry, pastry, fruit, citrus, butter, and vanilla. Let me see what the notes on this say. Jelly donut. The pampering essence of gently fried pastry dough filled with sweet raspberry jam, juicy blackberry, creamy vanilla, and a hint of sugared citrus. All right, so same thing. Listen, listen. I have four backups from that time that they got restocked really quickly. This is sold out again. I had a friend order one. She's not a super, super big candle purchaser. She texted me. She goes, Drew, this candle has been lit for five minutes and it's filling my house with the best bakery donut scent I've ever had. This is magic in a jar from Kringle. Magic in a jar. Oh my God. This is, <laughs> this is so good and it's not an exaggeration. I don't know anybody who doesn't like Kringle jelly donut. For one, look at the label. Who doesn't love a donut, let alone a jelly donut? This smells, when you light it, like a, the most gourmet donut shop even a home, or even an old-fashioned donut shop, doesn't have to be gourmet or bougie. And they're pumping homemade jam into a delicious raised donut that's being covered in powdered sugar. This is heaven on earth. I love it. It gets stronger when you burn it. It's, it's perfection. If I could only recommend one candle to anyone for the rest of my life... It's Kringle Jelly Donut. This is literally perfection. I am so happy to have more of this in my collection. I'm just dropping these off next to me. Yeah, I, it's so good. I can't. Now, the next one, I also picked up two of because I fell in love with Sinful. I was not ex expecting to love this fragrance as much as I did. Two of these... Now listen, yeah, see there's no notes on the bottom of this. So it must just be the newer the newer pores. This is still available on the website. Okay. So Sinful reads, whipped praline merges with creamy peanut butter and delicious chocolate morsels. I don't like chocolate fragrances when it comes to candles, home fragrance, body fragrance, any sort of like chocolate fragrance I'm not into. But this is next level. This is, again, an authentic chocolate peanut butter uh, uh, cupcake. There is a place in Pittsburgh called Vanilla Pastry Studio. They have a chocolate peanut butter cupcake that is the most decadent chocolate peanut butter cupcake I've ever had in my life. It is such a rich, moist cupcake. And the icing is a peanut butter frosting. And she even puts a little bit of peanut on top at the bakery, like a candied peanut. When you're eating it, since it's your mouth is so close to your nose, you're getting that fragrance. And every time I smell it, it smells like this. It smells like that cupcake, like a true authentic chocolate bakery. If you don't like chocolate scents, take everything you know about chocolate fragrances, throw it out the window and try Sinful. I can promise you, you're going to like it. I was blown away by how much. It's raining cats and dogs out, and I just got an emergency alert on my phone for a uh, emergency flood. It's not really flooding that. It's not flooding here, but it is raining. Anyway, they were so excited about the Sinful too. Listen, this is great. If you like chocolate peanut butter, I'm a peanut butter connoisseur. Give me anything with peanut butter. I'm not a chocolate connoisseur. I do enjoy a chocolate dessert, but this... This is heaven. I'm telling you, it is sinful. Just even the name. It is sinful. All right. Continuing on with ones that I've already had. Yeah, this doesn't have the notes on it either. Fresh Baked Bread. Now, this is one that was sitting in my collection for a little while. I started to light it, and I was like, oh, this is really good. So, I picked up a backup. Notes of fresh buttery baguette are wrapped with creamy milk and toasted wheat to bring you a savory and fluffy French bread. Oh, yeah, this is great. I mean, look at this delicious wax. I mean, it's just plain white wax, but either way. Oh, it's so good. I don't know if you can know the date of these were poured or not. I, I don't know. I don't know how any of that works. But anyway, oh, this is good. If you like a yeasty fragrance, 
like a yeasty baked bread. I know Kringle has sweet and savory, very different than this. Easter brunch, very different than this. I am so sad I missed out on more Easter brunch. I'm hoping that it comes back next year because I'm about halfway done with it now. And it's one that I'm tempted to put away. But I hate doing that with candles. I like to finish them up. But it's so delicious, I really might. This is great. If you like that yeasty, freshly baked bread scent in your house, this is it. This is a great kitchen fragrance. This would be great burning with other things that are bakery, but also fruity to give it like a fruity jam on a bread set. Really, really like that one. And that one is still available, I believe. All right, the last one that is not new to me, and then we're gonna go on to the new ones. Juicy Strawberry. I had this one before. Oh, see, this must be a fresh report because it also has scent notes, which is exciting. Juicy Strawberry. Juicy strawberries, lemon leaf, tomato vine, parsley, sheer basil, violet leaf, oak moss, geranium, and musk. Listen, this is the most authentic strawberry candle I've ever smelled in my life. I know you might be used to like a strawberry uh, Danish, or not Danish, strawberry like sugar scent or like strawberry jam or, you know, like an artificial strawberry this legit smells like strawberries off the vine. Like that parsley, that basil, that tomato leaf, lemon leaf, like all those greens mixed in with the strawberry make it like a true strawberry off the vine. And Katie, I know I'm shouting Katie and Melanie out a lot. I love their videos, love their channels, love supporting them. But this, she said, burned with Easter brunch is like a 10 out of 10. I have to try that. Like, I have to. Another reason why I got a backup of this. Or a backup. Another one. I finished my other one. Oh, if you like strawberry, this is like a green, fresh strawberry scent. Definitely check that one out. It's awesome. All right. Now let's move on to new to me fragrances. I got this one strictly because of Melanie. California Cab. Okay. I love Bath & Body Works Wine Cellar. I'm one of the few. I feel like people either love that one or hate that one. I loved it. I'm really curious to see what this one is like because the notes really intrigue me. No notes on the bottom. This says, indulge in rich and velvety California cab where luscious layers of red berries, black cherry, and dark plum harmonize with aged oak and warm spices, creating an aromatic journey of a fine wine country escape. Okay, let's see. Whoa. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, not what I expected. It does smell a little bit like wine. I know Melanie said it's more of like a grape juice to her, but I'm totally picking up on that wine. Like the oak barrels, the spices, the plum, like I feel like all of those are such warm notes that it, this really does. Oh, I like this. I know Kringle had, I had one, those big wine jar candles. Those were like, were they four wicks? I can't remember, but they were jumbo. They didn't burn well. Those were years and years ago. Oh, wow. Okay, this is definitely smelling like wine to me, which I did not expect. I expected it to be more of like a grape juice. I also have not lit it. Obviously, I just opened it out of the box, but yeah. If you like wine, if you like wine fragrances, if you like like those real rich dark berries, the dark berries blended with the oak and the spice really make it smell authentic wine to me. I really like it. Now, I don't like that Manhattan scent that they have that smells like alcohol because it literally smells like, like liquor. This smells like wine. That's crazy. It's crazy how authentic this is to wine to me. But again, I don't really drink, so I can't say that it's like, you know, exact to wine. But from wines that I've smelled, it smells pretty similar. All right. Another one that's not new, but was new to me and is still available on the website. Oh, the California Cab is too. Australian Kiwi. And I ordered this one strictly because I love Kiwis. I love eating them. And I really like this label. Oh, this was a newer pour. There are scent notes on here. And the notes are... Kiwi pulp, citron, lychee, 
apricot, melon, starfruit, nectarine, turbinado sugar, and apple peel. Okay. It smells like a kiwi. That is crazy. I have never smelled kiwi in wax. Like, I've had, like, scents that have, like, a kiwi note in them, but never, like, ooh, this is supposed to be, like, a kiwi fragrance. Oh, it's interesting. Okay. Um, I also have the notes here, so I'm just reading this. I'm not really getting melon in here, necessarily. I am definitely getting kiwi. But it could also be lychee. Um, if you're familiar with lychee, lychee, I know Melanie loves it. It's like a Japanese fruit. It's really, really sweet, like tart, juicy. But this is really yummy. Yeah, this is really yummy. If you like rich, um, fruity fragrances that aren't aquatic, I think, or like um, tropical, I think you'll really like this. If you're familiar with a kiwi, like a green seeded kiwi fruit, this smells just like a kiwi. That's crazy. Oh yeah, I like that. I definitely like that. It's very aquatic, not aquatic. It's very authentic to that rich kiwi, lychee, like tart sweet fruit. All right, let's do this one. Oh, now there was three new releases. There was pear, orange, and psychedelic citrus. I did not order pear. I probably should have, but I didn't. But I did order psychedelic citrus. Look at this label. I mean, come on. That label is so fun. I'm obsessed. And there are notes. Oh my God, I love this. Sparkling orange, lime fizz, grapefruit glow, sweet strawberry, apricot nectar, lush watermelon, sugar crystals, and solar musk. I've heard this is like a Sour Patch Kid, which I'm excited. Huh. This is super interesting. What? This is wild. Okay, it does not smell like a Sour Patch Kid to me. Um, at all. Like that candy at all. It's not super strong, but it's also a fresh pour, so I'll give it that. But it smells like, okay, lime fizz, totally. Totally lime fizz, totally watermelon, grapefruit. Yeah, orange. Yeah, okay, I'm going to have to like this one. I'll be honest, I'm not overly impressed on cold. It's not super strong. It's almost like a watered down citrus seltzer, like a LaCroix. Yeah, it's almost like a LaCroix or a Waterloo. Do you, are you familiar with Waterloo Seltzer? You can't respond to me, but still, you can in the comments. Waterloo Seltzer, I know they sell it at Whole Foods. A lot more places are selling it now. It's my favorite seltzer because it's really fruity, but it still has the bubbliness. That's sort of what this smells like, like a mellowed down citrus seltzer. I was expecting this to be way stronger and way more citrus than it is. Hmm. Okay. Not enthralled. Definitely out of all of the ones I purchased, this is my least favorite. So the label is super fun and I'll burn it and definitely let you know what I think. I'm like covered in dust. All right. Last but not least, and now I can get rid of the box, is orange. Now, in middle school, in high school, orange was my favorite color, so I'm partial to orange. I do enjoy citrus fragrances, and I know that a lot of people love Sicilian tangerine, Sicilian orange, sorry, Sicilian orange. I can't get into Sicilian orange. It has this weird note to me, almost like a cat urine type of smell. I don't know why, just not my type of scent. So I'm hoping that this is my Sicilian orange. Notes read, orange, Mandarin, green, lemon, lemongrass, red fruit, jasmine, tamarind, musk, and amber. All right, let's see. Holy orange. Holy orange. Wow. Wow. But you know what's funny about this? Is this just me? It kind of smells like Satsuma from the body shop. It does. It smells like Satsuma body butter from the body shop. Do you remember that? 
I used to love the body shop, like shea, coconut, olive, strawberry, grapefruit, satsuma, lemon, but satsuma was the most popular. In a lot of ways, this smells like satsuma body butter. Huh. I'm smelling satsuma, which is not listed. And I know you're like, well, it's an orange. Yeah, but satsuma's different than an orange. I don't think it smells necessarily like orange juice, not like a freshly squeezed orange juice. I've had freshly squeezed orange juice candles and wax melts, and it does not smell like this. It smells like satsuma body butter from the body shop, and I'm sticking with it. Okay, not what I expected at all, but I I love that scent. I used to love that. And now the body shop like filed for bankruptcy and is like going downhill really fast. So, oh, this is interesting. All right. Yeah, I'm sticking with it. It smells like Satsuma body butter from the body shop. That was exciting, wasn't it? I have 10 more reserve candles to add to my collection, which I'm looking over here because it is growing. I went from one, two, three, four cabinets of random candles to three cabinets of Kringle and one on the top of randoms. I've turned into a Kringle head and I have no problems with it. I love Kringle candle. Again, not just because I'm an ambassador. I truly love the brand. I love exploring the new fragrances. The black reserve candles are definitely my aesthetic. They weren't at first because they were, um, super opaque jars but now I don't know if you can see on an angle here let me see if I can oh you can see right there they're now super transparent so when they burn you can see the flames which I love because part of burning a candle is getting that ambiance so I really love that so all right thank you guys so much for watching did you participate in the Kringle reserve drop there's still so many Kringle candles in the reserve collection I actually added, I think, 12 to my wish list of scents that I still haven't tried. So I want to slowly try some more of them. There's a couple that are definitely on my wish list. And thank you to everyone who did use my code. I got a lot of messages from people saying, I ordered this and used your code. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're purchasing using my code giving me commission to purchase more candles to share with you guys on my channel is what brings me the most joy. And I love sharing new fragrances with you, talking candles with me. I'll link my Instagram, my TikTok down below. Feel free to message me on TikTok, on Instagram. I love talking with you guys. All things candles, all things fragrance, all things home, all things musicals, all things, all things, all things. And um, yeah, use my code DREWYOK15. Again, all that info will be down in the description box down below. Thank you for watching. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye.